Check it out. Check it out. One, two, three. Check it out. We got Thursday, Thirsty Thursday or Pizza Thursday. One of my favorite entrees, one of my favorite dishes. And I'm on limited time before I got to get back on the other side of town. But I couldn't pass up stopping by Berlick Brewing to try their new collaboration beer with Trapdoor Brewing out of Vancouver, Washington. About 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes north of here. This is called the Bear Trap Cryo IPA. Ha, huh, man. This beer utilized this new check technology, technology, technology called cryo hops. This is going to be, I want to say, the third beer that I've drank with cryo hops. So I had the cryo Fadrius or Fadrius Hazy IPA from Culmination Brewing. I had the Cryo Fluffy brewed by Claim 52. And I want to, I think, fourth, but I'm, I'm just going to say this is the third one. I want to say it's four, but I can only think of those two plus this one equal three, not those two plus another one plus this one equal four. So um, that's, that's that. I mean, this beer was made with taking an insane amount of Mosaic, Cascade, and Simcoe hops. Now, according to the brewers, this beer should be bursting with dank berry and citrus flavors, and it should have a creamy mouthfeel. Now, if I were a beer expert, I'd be able to relate to that. But since I'm just a beer drinking expert, I can't necessarily relate to that per se with people who can relate to that. So this is entertainment purposes only, and in me enjoying great beer brewed by one of three my favorite breweries here in the PDX. So with that being said, huh, I'm gonna go ahead and drink this bad baby. I'm gonna give you a little look. Like I said, this is my second day here. Shady out here, so I can't get that natural light that I want with the sun, but this beer looks great. I think it looks great. I think it looks real great. I'll try to clean it up for you. Maybe if I clean it up for you, but I don't wanna warm it up, so let me see. Maybe if I clean it up a bit, you could see something. Boom. It looks great, man. It looks really good. Real good. It looks real good. Um, smells damn good, too. Mmm, that smells really good. I like it. I can dig that. I don't want to compare this beer to anything because I don't like comparing a beer saying, oh, this beer tastes like that beer. But if I were to ever give like a beer review of some sort, I would relate it to a time that I was drinking a beer. And the last three beers that I've had that were extremely exclusive, something that I want to try was the Cryo Fluffy. Um, uh, by Brew by Claim 52, and then I had the um, geez man, Epic Epic Brewing brewed something that I just picked up a couple, uh, couple days ago, drank it over the weekend. Geez, I can't think of the name, but those three beers, if I can have those three beers side by side with each other, it'll be an, an interesting and great day. So, I think my goal is to see if I can get this filled and a little little mini growler um, and then see if I can go to uh, Beer PDX and get the Claim 52 Cryo Fluffy if they still have it and um, Epic Brewing out of Utah I, for the life of me I can't remember the name of the beer but I just drank the beer on Saturday drank the Cryo Fluffy on Friday drank that on Saturday um, but no not not trying to compare but this is bringing me back to my drinking experience that I had on Saturday and Friday. And those were some great beers. And this is great as well. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't mind having them side by side, all three of the beers side by side. Uh, but like I said, this is, a, this is a tasty beer. Very, 
this is a beer that I honestly would have preferred to have during my salsa chips and salsa and beer segment. I don't know what I want to call it. I don't want to call it chips and salsa plus beer or chips and guacamole plus beer or something, but I've done a segment of it already. So this beer is rad, this beer is killer. Uh, now compared to drop acid, dropping acid, acid drop, and I'm not screwing that name up, but both names that they've given the beer is awesome. The name that they're running with, acid drop, opposed to dropping acid. I prefer dropping acid, that sounds dope. But dropping acid yesterday was, psh, man, that beer was legit. It was so legit that I decided to get it in a bottle so I can take it on a camping trip this weekend. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up because like I said, I got a bus to move. But here we have Bear Lake Bruins, Trap Door Bruin, Bear Trap Cryo IPA. Come mess with this. Come mess with it. I don't know if I would chug it. Now, I've, I chug a lot of beer, but I don't know if this is chug worthy. This is sip worthy right here. Not as crushable. I mean, it's seven, I think, what we got? Seven and a half percent. So it, it can be crushable, but I don't think it's crushable. Uh, this is a sipper right here or enjoying it with something. But acid drop, crushable. Now, I know it's a five percent sessionable. Or it's, you know, low on ABV. No one's trying to crush a uh, five percent beer, but man i can crush that if i had a six pack of that i'll crush all of them six pack crush all of them if i had a crawler of that acid drop i'm crushing it so it's charlie of you heard it here first a sports beer and sober thoughts podcast along with my beer for tonight on twitter and i'm out